Hey everyone, James Lays, and today I'm filming a video with the Bad Cat Lynx. <laughs> Great guys over at Bad Cat recently sent me both the 2x12 cab and the Lynx head. Sounds amazing. I'm going to go through the uh, specifics about the amp and then we'll listen to how it sounds. I'm recording it with an FM57 to actually record the cab as well. I would usually use a capture box or something like that and use an IR, but because they were so gracious to send me the cab as well, we have to hear how it sounds. <laughs> Today we've got a Gibson Les Paul Studio, I think it's like a 2001, something like that, um, and it sounds really good. But first off, we're going to look at what the amp has on the front panel. So we've got Game 1 for Game Channel 1, Game 2 for Game Channel 2, the bass, the mid, the treble, Volume 1, Volume 2, Master, Presence, and a gate as well. Underneath the volume knobs there are also switches for Channel 1 and 2 and Low and High. <laughs> Technically, uh, it's an EQ one channel amp, um, similar to things like the 5150 and some Marshall amps as well. But you can switch with the foot switch on the floor that I'm using to go between channel one and two and then low and high. So you'll see in a sec when we play through that one how it sounds. Um, you could use channel one as like a clean channel and then the high would make it into like a crunch channel. It's actually quite a good rhythm channel, the channel one. Uh, and then channel two could be your heavier channel and then the low and high again could switch between lead or rhythm. You may notice, hey Jamie, there's no power or standby. Uh -huh. They're on the back. And um, there's also a foot switch section on the back and an effects loop as well for pedals and all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna play through. I'm recording it into my computer with the interface using the SM57 because we're capturing and listening really to how the cab sounds as well as the head. Um, I'm using a Gibson Les Paul Studio. Let's hear how it sounds. We're gonna go just into the amp and just switch around with the foot switch on the floor. The only thing I think would have been great would be the option on the pedal 
um, the foot switch to turn the gate on and off. Because when I go to the clean channel, so channel one, I've now got a gate on and I don't really want that. So if I go back, now it has a gate on it. And to, do, to turn that off, I'd have to go up here and turn it off. Or I guess you would just turn this gate off completely and use the noise gate um, and then switch it off with your feet. But it would be nice if there was an option to do that as well. So this is the high gain channel, as you can tell. Bass made some treble kind of fairly at 12 o'clock. Um, I'm using the presence quite highly as well. So for those of you who like really low tunings, this is actually in drop B. I've put it in drop B uh, because uh, the guys in All Shall Perish use drop B on a seven string, so I thought it might be fun. Using my Gatekeeper seven string prototype, um, which is available to buy, the Gatekeeper seven string where there's no pickups, just to show you how this amp holds up in low register tunings as well, like so. So there you have it, that was the Bad Hat Lynx. Clearly holds up in a really low tuning, it sounds great in standard and drop D as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think of the two channels, the foot switch, the cab, how did the song sound that I made up on the spot? I really enjoyed it. Uh, when the guys hit me up, I was aware of Bad Cat, but I wasn't aware of the Lynx, and I was actually a bit concerned that it wouldn't necessarily do metal stuff. And it sounds great in here with the uh, mic in front of it as well. What did you think? If you liked the video, let me know by leaving a like and I'll make more amp review videos just like this one. If you found my channel due to this video, hit subscribe and ring the bell because you'll be notified when I post new videos every single week. And if you really enjoyed it, stick around and watch some more videos and I'll see you guys next week for some more Metal Riff videos.